Scientists say chickens, like all birds, are the descendants of dinosaurs. There's evidence many dinosaurs had feathers. Proteins from a T-Rex fossil were analyzed and found to be very similar to bird collagen. This evolution didn't happen overnight. It took over 66 million years and a darn big asteroid. It's a good thing birds evolved to be smaller. Can you imagine a T-Rex-sized chicken? It may have taken eons for dinosaurs to evolve into birds, but it only took a few decades for chickens to be bred into something entirely different. The story of modern poultry begins in the 1950s. A certain Kentucky colonel was just getting his franchise empire started. The chicken fried in his early cookers was very different from today's birds. 1950s chickens lived a pretty good life, with room to roam and forage for whatever feed they could find. It took them about four months to reach market weight, about three pounds. Then they were headed for that big chicken coop in the sky. The first cooks to offer fried chicken used heavy cast iron skillets and lard. Results were tasty but time-consuming. Pressure cookers sped up the process but were too small to keep up with high customer demand. Winston Industries got into the fryer business in 1969 with our Collectromatic Pressure Fryer. These revolutionary fryers could generate the heat and high pressure needed to cook large quantities of chicken quickly without scorching the shortening. Fast forward to today. To say chickens have changed would be an understatement. Compared to the poultry of 1950, at five weeks, today's chicken is a mutant. Selective breeding and changes in feed and farming techniques have resulted in a chicken that reaches market weight almost twice as fast. These advances in poultry science produced a chicken that develops very quickly. Yes, the chicken we raise has changed a lot, but until recently, the fryers cooking them have remained the same. Most fryers were engineered to cook tough birds of the past. Winston researchers wondered, why continue frying under high pressure and temperature if poultry no longer requires it? Lowering pressure and temperature could reduce operating costs and improve safety. We experimented with the pressure, temperature, and time settings. We discovered we could fry fantastic chicken using just a quarter of the pressure previously needed Instead of the standard 14 PSI, we fried perfect chicken at under 4 PSI. The benefits to you? Lower temperatures extended shortening life, meaning lower operating costs. Lower pressure improves safety. We didn't change the Collectromatic Fryer's 50-year legacy of lower operating costs, better ROI, and reliable service. We just made it better. Winston Food Service takes pride in being a food service pioneer. We'll keep growing and adapting to stay on the forefront of change. Who knows? If the chicken growth trend continues, they may end up being the size of dinosaurs again. We're going to need a bigger fryer. Visit Geek Corner on our website to learn more or arrange a demo.